And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Costa Rica, which is a push-your-luck style game from Mayfair slash Lookout Games, designed by Matthew Dunson and Brett Gilbert. I honestly didn't know anything about this game when I saw it. I know it was about going out and basically taking pictures of animals. Um, it's... When I got the rules, I was very surprised because they're just a couple pages. They are very short. This is an easy game to set up and play. But is it fun? The board is randomly put together in a hexagon that has five of these hexagon train tiles on a side. There are mountains and swamp and jungle and there's going to be leftover ones. You're just going to randomly put them out there. On the back of each of them, they're going to show one or two animals. There's two types of animals for each terrain. So for example here, we have the jaguar and a toucan are the two different things that you might find in the mountains. You also see that there's a mosquito, which is a dangerous thing that's on some of the tiles. And each player has something that tells them. So this tells you, for example, um, which, of the t which one is rare. So for example, in the mountains, the jaguar is rare, the toucan is easier to find and the chance of you finding a double animal is higher in the mountains, much higher, 75% chance, but there's a 50% chance that there will be a danger symbol. While in the forest, the chance of a mosquito is very small and this chance of getting a double animal is also very small. So on a player's turn, they're going to pick a party that has their people in it. So at the beginning of the game, every party has one of each. So I might start, I'll say, okay, I'm gonna go to this mountain. We turn it over. It's a single toucan. All right, so we found a, uh, a, a bird here. Now, and I'm using this to keep track of where the expedition goes. As the person who initiated this, as the expedition leader, I can take that. I don't want it, so I say pass. Each other player who's part of that party has an opportunity to take it or pass. Let's say everyone passes. Then we can go again, so I go in here. I'll turn this over. It's a monkey. So this uh, monkey here, I can now that I found him, I can take both these tiles or pass. I'm like, nah, I don't know. And each other person also passes. Great. Now I go into this jungle here. I found two more monkeys, but I also found a mosquito symbol. And so now I can take all three of these tiles or pass. So let's say I say I'm going to take them all. So I take all three tiles and I put them in front of me. Let's say I'm the purple player. My purple guy comes out of that group and then that whole group is placed there. So I got those tiles and now the next person to go, let's say they're blue, can move any of the groups on the outside, or they can move this one. So if they move this one, I'm not part of that one. So let's say they do decide to move it. They move it here in the swamp, they turn it over, and there's two of those. They pass, they go into another swamp, there's another one, everyone passes, they go here. A monkey, everyone passes, they go into a mountain. And blue passes, but green says, no, I want that stuff. So then green would get all four of those tiles. Then green is gone, and it goes here, and blue's turn is over, even though they were the expedition leader, someone else took it. And so you're gonna keep doing that. It is possible that at any point in time, let's say I had a party here, and for some reason the tiles were all taken away by other parties, and this party's gone, because there's no reason for them to be there anymore. Also, if while you're turning tiles over, if you turn over two with a mosquito tile, those two go away, the expedition's immediately over, and you would only get the stuff in between them uh, or the stuff that's not mosquitoes. This will continue until everyone has used up all their explorers or they're out. When all your explorers are gone, you are out of the game, although it's not gonna be much longer after that. Then once the game is over and everyone's used their explorers, you're going to count each type of animal. So let's say I have four jaguars, I'm gonna get 10 points. And let's say I have six frogs, I get 21 points. If you have one of all six types, you get 20 points for each set of all six types that you have. Whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. Okay, so that's Costa Rica. This is a game in which players are, again, pushing their luck. Uh, one of the people I played with compared it to a classic Reiner Knizia game, Ra, where you're trying to get tiles. And this game is very intriguing because I haven't seen a game scaled this differently in a while. 
The two-player game is very different than a five-player game. In a five-player game, three tiles, you're probably grabbing them. In a two-player game, three tiles, psh, that's garbage. I need more than that because there's going to be that much more. And there's, this game can be kind of mean. You can cut someone off deliberately with your party. You can take tiles just to stop someone else from getting them. You might already have six frogs, and you're sitting there going, I don't really want more frogs, but at the same time, um, I, don't, I don't want to turn over another danger symbol. That danger symbol is kind of a, you know, explosive thing. And you got to be careful because mountains are more dangerous, but they give you more of the double animals, which is more points. Graphic design for this game is okay. It's, it's not bad, but it just, just doesn't look that fantastic. The game doesn't look spectacular when you put it on the table. You people look at it and go, huh. Eh. And when you turn it over, just the, the way that the, 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 the tiles are done with the, the film on the back of them. First of all, who uses film these days? But uh, just the whole, uh, it just doesn't look that good of a setup. But the, the gameplay itself makes up for that, and it's fast. I like that. Um, the box itself says 30 to 45 minutes, much closer to 30 minutes, and it's easy to move and push your luck and then go on. Uh, moving the parties around, there's going to be some moments you're like, oh, which party do I move? But for the most part, you're flipping over tiles and seeing what happens and seeing what group to grab. Getting that 20-point bonus for having all six different animals is a much bigger deal in a five-player game than it is in a two-player game, because in a two-player game, you could get it multiple times. Um, but in a five-player game, if you get it once, you might have won the game. So I like it. It's not a uh, complex game at all. It's a game that you can kind of laugh and have a good time as you're taking the turns. And as you flip the tile over, everyone's like, like danger, mosquito, come on. And sometimes that will just happen. The first two tiles you turn over are mosquitoes. And that's the way that goes. But also, you kind of did take a risk probably going to mountain tiles or what have you. So, a lot of fun. More than I had expected. I think it could look better. But even without that, it's easy and quick to jump into. Fast to explain the rules to. Kind of a push-your-luck game along the lines of, um, like I said, Rob. Maybe simpler than that. That's Costa Rica. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop! Boop!